Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching. Thanks for joining us. Today, we are at the American Dream Mall with the family. Why? Because today is Nick's birthday. He turns three today, and for his birthday, we are going to Sea Life, which is the aquarium inside the American Dream Mall. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go see some fishies. So let's get in there. And sharks too? Yeah. All right, let's get in there and uh, see what this place is like. So we are in right now. Um, to the left here is the Lego is the Legoland Discovery Center entrance, and then this elevator here is going to take us to the aquarium. All right, so we just made our way down an elevator, and that took us into the Sea Life area. We're going to head in right through here, and we've got a little hallway here. Looks like we're heading into some undersea adventures. Hey, Dia, did you see that? Change cup. I'll tell you why later. Oh, okay. Okay, so before we get into too much of the aquarium area, I just want to let you guys know if you are Legoland New York annual pass holders, um, the online site to make reservations to get into these exhibits are not currently working with the New York pass holder annual passes. So, what the gentleman told me here was we paid to come here today and then he refunded me the money when we got here because he verified that we were annual pass holders. Um, you can just walk up and try to get in, but you could run into an issue with availability of the reservation system when you get here. So you can always buy the tickets and they, they are cool about refunding you. Um, I don't know if it's always gonna be like that, but Legoland New York is gonna have to work that out to link it with all the other Merlin attractions. And this is the first main attraction here. And it looks like these are all local fish that you would find in the rivers and lakes in New York and New Jersey. Let's head over here. Yep, it looks like we've got some perch in here and some sunfish. So kind of your uh, kind of like your your local local fish that you would see anywhere in the lakes and rivers by us. And as we head out of the more local area here, it looks like we're heading into an area. Well, they got a little touch tank. So here they have a touch tank area where you can reach in and touch all kinds of little aquatic life. Uh, you do have to wash your hands at the hand wash station before you come over here. So put your two fingers like Just this. Just give a little touch. Give a little touch. Woo! Oh yeah. You can do it too, kid. Go ahead. Okay. Just a little touch. There you go. Ooh, they're tying in the they're tying in a little bit of football theme here. Some Giants and Jets helmets in there. Let's go Giants. And look at that right there. Crabby, crabby. So behind me here is an interactive display where they're, they're teaching kids about starfish. The kids can walk up and touch the screen. And as they touch each starfish below, it tells them a little bit more about them. Look at those jellyfish. Kaylee, don't push the button. Okay. This button's over here, Kaylee. So they're gonna be able to press the button, which changes the color of the jellyfish. That is pretty cool. They're moon jelly. So they have all these interactive touch pads here that you can bring up information on the animals that are in the tanks next to them. So it really does allow the kids to learn about the individual animals as they are going through the exhibits. Look at the tunnel. This is awesome. I'm in a tunnel right now that you can walk through. It's not a huge tunnel, just to give you perspective. That's all it is, but you walk through into the next area. Wow, look at that. We've got a seahorse here. This is a beautiful tank. And as you can see, there's all different seahorses all in this area here and all these little tanks. So as we make our way out of the seahorse area, we are gonna go into a new land 
with a much bigger tank, a much more open area. And this is a lot of our rays and some of our saltwater fish in here. Look at that. Over here, they have a vending machine that dispenses coins. Um, it was $15 for four coins, or they're $5 each. And the coins come with an octopus, a shark, um, an otter, and a sea turtle. So if you're into collecting the press coins or kind of the, uh, the gold coins they have here, this is a place where you can do that. Just giving you a view from the top here. Look at that guy. Oh, here comes another one! Whoa! Throughout all of the exhibits, they have these cool little portals where the kids can really kind of get themselves into the tanks, which it's a pretty cool looking view. Just to give you guys a perspective of what inside one of these little bubbles look like, it is a pretty immersive view. And that goes pretty far in. I mean, I'm, I'm, I thought I was all the way in, but I'm definitely not. But you are in there. Oh, here they come. So now we're inside of a little coral reef area that kind of looks like a, an underwater city. Um, really cool, they got mushrooms coming out of the walls, the pillars kind of look like little mushrooms, but a lot of little of the smaller reef fish that you would see um, at, at a coral reef. Here they have another much smaller tunnel here. I'm gonna go in there anyway. But again, fully immersive. There's Nemo. And Dory. I will say that for the amount of real estate they have here, the tanks are not that big. So it's a lot of like decoration and stuff like this to make it look like you're in like a little city area, but the tanks themselves are not huge. I don't know if we're leading up to something big, but there's a Sharks and Company, so let's go check it out. I mean, it's a big tank, but this has a lot of like the bigger rays in it. There's a couple larger sharks. Pretty awesome. So just to give you guys some perspective, there is a nice little sitting area right here where you can kind of sit and observe the larger tank, which is right here. This area is right after you go through the blacklit area um, where the Shark and Company sign is. This is pretty awesome. So right now we're inside of the, what was this called? The Ocean Tunnel. Um, so this is part of the tank that we were just showing you guys before. As you can see, it's all the same layout. It's just you're actually in the tank now. So cool. Eventually the kids will be able to play in this again. And it wouldn't be a trip to an event like this without some kind of a gift store behind us. Let's go check it out and see how it is. We've got a lot of fun stuff here. So they've got a little toy ferry boat here. That's actually pretty cool. I think that that's a green toy. So it is made, it's 100% recycled plastic, which is pretty cool. Um, they also have a helicopter here, which is also a green toy. Um, grow a pirate, whoa. 
They have Sharkopoly, and then they've got a whole bunch of kids' t-shirts and stuffed whales and stuff like that. They've got another whole boat here filled with stuffed animals and stuff. A whole, whole lot of stuffed animals here as well. And got some more little, your typical souvenir stuff here. You got shot glasses, little, little toy starfish. Ooh, look at that wine topper. Oh, that's a cool shark hat. Nick would like that. And they've got some, it looks like little bath toys here. It's, it looks like a mommy alligator with three little bubby, tubby scrubbies. Look at those tubby scrubbies, Nick. Tubby scrubbies. And they have this girl sea, sea turtle hat here. And then more plush sea turtles down there. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it for the overview of the Sea Life Aquarium at the American Dream Mall. Um, now it's time to do a review. So, there's always the same criteria for all the fun parent reviews based on a five-star scale. Is it fun for kids? Is it fun for adults? How is customer service? And value for the money. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, the most important thing you're all wondering if you're watching this video, is it gonna be fun for your kids? Um, I can assure you, your kids are gonna have a blast here. From the minute they walk through the main hallway into the first tank area, they're gonna be immersed in a world that doesn't even feel like you're in New Jersey anymore. Um, the tanks are all very interactive. There's a lot of fun stuff to do while you're there. Our kids had a blast for the time that we were there. So with that being said, I'm gonna give the Sea Life Aquarium a four star rating for Is It Fun For Kids. As we move on to Is It Fun For Adults, you're gonna have a decent time. I was constantly left with this feeling of like, what's next? What's the next big thing? When are we gonna start to see some bigger, with some big sharks, some big fish, um, some really impressive looking tanks? Um, you eventually do get to the point where you're like, okay, we're starting to get there. Now we're starting to talk about what I would expect to see from an aquarium. Unfortunately, that's the end of the aquarium. That's their big ticket. Their big payoff is the New York themed tank. Um, and you're like, we're finally getting somewhere here. And then you walk into a gift shop. So um, with that being said, I'm gonna give it a three star review for Is It Fun For Adults? You're gonna have a decent time. You could really learn a lot about fish there, but you're not gonna get an overall fantastic experience like you would from some of the other aquariums that are in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area. Um, as far as customer service goes, we had a really good experience when we first got there with the manager who refunded us back our money because he found out we were Legoland pass holders. He really didn't have to do that. He could have said, listen, you already purchased the tickets. They're non-refundable. But for future future trips here, you, you can use your pass holder. He did not do that. He refunded us immediately, didn't even ask questions about it once he verified the pass holder. Outside of that interaction, we really didn't have too much other interactions with anybody else that worked there. Um, so from that interaction alone, I'm gonna give them a four star rating. Um, and then finally, value for the money. So this is where it's a tricky score to give because we would have paid $160 for the four tickets into the into the aquarium plus the Explorer packs, which were $5 each for each one of the kids. Um, basically what the Explorer packs do is they give the kids a little bit more of like a, an assignment while they're in the aquarium. They have to find all the fish, check them off through all the boxes. It really does extend the amount of time you're gonna spend there. I found that my kids were not really that interested in doing it. They're more interested in just running around and checking everything out. Um, and with that being said, we only spent about 40 minutes inside the actual aquarium itself. So for what would have been a $160 price tag, it was for 40 minutes of entertainment for the kids. So with all that taken into account, if you have older kids, they might have a better experience with the Explorer packs. My kids being six and three did not. Um, but I'm gonna give them a one star for value because a four, it's more of a roadside attraction than it is an actual aquarium that you're gonna go to over and over again with your kids. Um, there is a caveat here, however. And the caveat here is the Aquarium and the Legoland Discovery Center share the same area. So when you get off the elevator, you can either go left to go into the aquarium or right to go into the Legoland Discovery Center. There is a $10 add-on where you can do a package where you get into Sea Life and you also get into the Legoland Discovery Center in the same day. If you're going to go and spend the money to go here, pay the extra 10 bucks, go check out the Legoland Discovery Center. At least you'll get a few hours worth of time in and then you can always bounce back and forth between the two as you see fit. That's a much better value for the money than just going to Sea Life or just going to the Legoland Discovery Center. So with all that being accounted for, 
all factors taken into play, the Sea Life Aquarium at the American Dream Mall is gonna get a three star rating from the fun parent. Um, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I hope it helped you make an educated decision on whether or not you wanna go and spend the money at the Sea Life Aquarium. Um, if you have any comments or questions about the Sea Life Aquarium, please leave them down below. All of those, if there's anywhere you want us to go check out, comment down below. Let us know of anywhere else you're interested in seeing and we'd be more than happy to go check it out for you. We're always down for the adventure. Um, with that being said, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future reviews or adventures that we have in the future. And um, that's gonna do it for us today. So uh, we're done, son.